But what's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install Portal RTX. It's very simple. All you need is an RTX compatible graphics card. I'm pretty sure only Nvidia's lineup will work with this game, but maybe ray tracing GPUs from other companies would work as well. If you have an NVIDIA 20, 30 or 40 series graphics card, then congratulations, you can play this game. If you already own Portal, then this is a free add-on for you. It's really simple to get going. Obviously, you'll need Steam installed, head across to the store, and you'll see a few games here when you search for Portal. So there's Portal and Portal with RTX. This is free. If we click on it, you'll see Portal with RTX requires that you own Portal. Super simple. All you need to do is click add to library, then play game, and you'll be prompted to download and install Portal RTX. So heading back to my library, you can now see that I have Portal and Portal with RTX. Obviously, Portal is the default normal Portal, and Portal with RTX is around four times bigger, and of course has all of the RTX features. So I'll need to install this here, and you won't need the original game installed as well. It's a standalone mod, that's pretty much a recreation of everything, just with RTX textures and lighting. It's a pretty cool tech demo, and of course a relatively cool way of playing the normal official Portal game. Though, do keep in mind the experience is very different. A lot of the complaints around this game mainly center around textures looking very different, and quite a lot closer to each other, so it's not so easy to understand where to play as portals, especially if you haven't played the original game first. So if you'd like to look at shinier textures with better lighting and better shadows, Portal RTX is for you. Otherwise, if you're looking for a good portal experience, you'll probably want to stick to the official original portal and hop across to Portal 2 when you're done. This is more of a tech demo than anything, and of course a nice way to replay the game if you haven't returned to it in years. All that's left is to wait for the download to finish, then we can hop in game. So I'll simply need to wait for the download to finish. There we go, once Portal RTX is done downloading, you'll be able to launch it up, and when you do, if you see a pop-up like this, you'll need to update your graphics driver, so that's exactly what I'll do now. You can either use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, if you have that installed, otherwise, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the official NVIDIA driver page, where you can download the latest driver for your PC. Select your series, then your graphics card, your operating system, choose Game Ready Driver, and then click Search, Download, then once again, Download. When this is done downloading, open it up, and of course, we can proceed from there. After a restart, firing it up once more, you'll get the usual intro, and you can see Welcome to NVIDIA RTX Remix at any point during gameplay, press Alt-X to access the Remix menu. So essentially what they've done, it's a layer running on top of the actual game, swapping out a few things right before it reaches your screen, as far as I understand. It's mostly the default game with a few different textures, but more importantly, an RTX layer that runs in between the game and your monitor. Because of that, some things like the Steam overlay, Shift tab doesn't seem to work, the Discord overlay, and oftentimes FPS counters. However, as you can see in the top left, if you already have an FPS counter in Steam enabled, it usually shows, which is good. So I'll head into a new game. Let's go, say, chapter two. Let's just start a game here. And immediately we can see reflections and, of course, telltale low FPS of around 40 on a 3080 Ti, which is very low. But anyways, using speedrunner tactics that I don't know, I'll probably have to just wait here. Just looking at this portal gives me 30 FPS, but anyways, it's pretty, I suppose. So hobbling along to the next area, you can already see some of the new features in play. Nice glossy glass materials, lighting, etc. If I hit Alt X here to bring up the customization menu, we have a bunch of things here. We can enable DLSS 3 or rather disable it or customize it by choosing custom. And more importantly, we can mess around with the image settings. If we open the developer settings menu, we get a ton more options here as well. Post processing, we can mess around with fog and a ton of really in-depth options. It's actually crazy. There are actually a ton of things here, which is a really good showcase of what this technology can do and probably how people can use it in their own games. But regardless, for most people, it's just portal with lower FPS, better lighting and more crashes if you mess around with some of the wrong settings. But anyways, negativity aside, maybe it's something you'll enjoy, maybe not, that's up to you and of course, your pockets. 
If you have an RTX card and you already own Portal, heck, why not download it, especially if you enjoyed the original game. Anyways, my name's been Techno over here for Troll Shoot. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.